Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk life, food, family, and fun. Today, we're doing something fun. We're making homemade ice cream in five minutes. And mine's gonna be keto. But you can do this even if you're not keto and just make it regular. Wanna know how I do it? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so homemade ice cream is super fun, but if you don't want to store a huge ice cream unit or you don't have one or you want something smaller and easier but you'd like to make homemade ice cream, this is a way that I found that works really, really good for something super fast. This is the Chef and Sweet Spot Ice Cream Maker. Makes ice cream in minutes. I got this off of Amazon. It does claim that you can do five or six of these in one setting as far as five or six servings. I don't really agree with that. I think it doesn't stay cold enough long enough and I do have my freezer on the lowest setting which was some of the complaints as to why this would only do about two before it's not cold enough. And, but I have a hack on how to make that work if you need more than one or two servings. But for me, if I'm just wanting to make a keto ice cream or whatever, this thing works really, really good and it's super easy to make, super fun, and it makes homemade keto ice cream affordable because I love Rebel Creamery ice cream. Love it. If you have not tried that and you're on keto, you need to try that. But, you know, it can be kind of expensive. They're like $6 for a pint. And so making that at home is a great option. So I'm gonna show you how to use this and my hack on when it starts to not be cold enough, okay? So it comes in a box like this. It's got some recipes in here, which are not keto, but I have adapted one. And then it has these two little scrapers. And basically you're gonna pour your ingredients into a frozen bowl and scrape it around and voila, instant ice cream. So I'm gonna get that out and show you what it looks like. The first time you use this, you do need to put your freezer on the coldest setting and leave it overnight for about 24 hours. After that, once you just put it back in, just a few hours. So I have got my keto vanilla ice cream right here. This is a cup of heavy cream. It's a quarter cup of water. It is one third of a cup of the Lakanto powdered monk fruit. It's very sweet, so adjust that accordingly and then a half a tablespoon of vanilla that's it i've had this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes just to make sure it's really cold and all you're gonna do is pour it in to the frozen pot here this entire thing will make two servings two half cup servings which will be about three carbs which is pretty good. And it starts to set up almost immediately with your first batch. You can see that starting to set up. And so you just scrape it around. If you wanna add anything to this and not have just vanilla, like Lily's semi-sweet dark chocolate chips, you can pour some of those in there. Put in nuts, sugar-free caramel, whatever you want. You can also add fresh strawberries and make a strawberry version of this whatever you want. This is just a base for the vanilla and whatever kind of mix-ins you want. So, you just kind of let this sit and then start to scrape it as it sets up. And this will make your ice cream. Now, this says that you can do this five or six times and that it just takes a little bit longer for the ice cream to set up once you have used it more than once. But I have found for subsequent batches, if you just pour the stuff in, and then put this in the freezer for five minutes and then come out and scrape it, it will set up again. So that's kind of the way to get around the, if you need multiple servings. But this will make two servings right here and you can do it again and it will set up. Now it's not gonna set up super, super, super solid. It's like homemade ice cream. You know, it's a little bit thinner, a little bit more soupy kind of than a store-bought ice cream. But it just tastes amazing and it makes Making ice cream fun for kids and affordable. Love it. I'll have this linked in the description box below if you want to check this thing out. Especially for, a, you know, if you want to do it sugar free or if you want to do a sorbet or if you just want to know kind of what ingredients are going in. Now, if you want to make this and then store it in your freezer for later, just know that it this becomes hard as a rock 
in there and you're gonna need to let it set out for 10 or 15 minutes before you eat it because otherwise it's just, it's too hard to even eat. So kind of like the way Rebel Creamery says is, you know, set it out for 15 minutes before you actually eat it because otherwise it's just, it's too hard, you can't scoop it. If you're not gonna eat this right away. Ah, I'm spilling my precious ice cream. Okay, and there you have it. Yummy, homemade. This version is keto, but you could just use regular sugar and milk and cream instead of water and cream. And I am going to taste this. Mmm. It's so good and so easy. So I'll have this linked in the description box as well as the recipe on how to make the keto one. If you want to check it out and make yourself some instant ice cream. Until next time, stay inspired and I'll see you in the next video. Mmm. Chocolate chip ice. This is so good.